Greetings and salutations friends. What is happening is your boy Nick Che coming back with another video. Welcome back home to Dallas, Texas. It feels good to be back. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a QA. and a I know I haven't done one of these in a while now, but before the video begins, I just have a few quick announcements. First up, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has supported me along this way. A few weeks ago, we hit 75,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane for me to think about. And I am so humbled and grateful for every single one of you who has supported me, watched my videos, and just help me continue to make better content and to keep pushing myself so 100k we are so close and this whole month i'm going to be cranking out content for you guys because i know you guys have been missing a lot of the stuff that i usually have on this channel so if you're new around here make sure to hit that subscribe button because i have plenty of cool videos planned for you guys now this next message is really just for incoming seniors and high school students so if you're not interested in that i will have the time code where you can skip ahead of this but for everyone else guys i know right about now is the stressful time of college application season I remember going through that exact same period where I was worrying about what schools I'm going to apply to, how I'm going to even start the application process, getting teacher recommendations, testing, all of that. And so if you don't know, last year I made a book known as Crash Course College Coaching, which was available as a PDF ebook. And honestly, guys, this thing is a lifesaver for anyone who is struggling with the college application process. I promise that this goes through step by step of every single process from start to finish. And it will just really give you an entire roadmap of how to best prepare yourself to to crank out the applications for all the schools that you want to. Right now, I'm throwing up some slides of the sample content that is in there. So I have everything from starting from your freshman year of high school, deciding which extracurriculars to do, what kind of SAT or ACT testing you wanna do, talking to teachers for recommendations, visiting the school, and finally deciding what school you're going to be attending for the next four years. Last summer, I put my heart and soul into writing this so that it would be the most beneficial it could be for you guys. And I really think that it's going to help you guys alleviate the process because if I had someone that told me step-by-step -step on how I should go about it, it would've just made my life a whole lot easier so that's what i'm trying to help you guys out with it's 100 pages long and i promise that there's no bullshit it cuts straight to the point and you're hearing it from an actual student's perspective now trust me i'm not saying that i'm a college expert and that i know everything about it but i do know from my experiences and i was somewhat successful in it and i'm sure it will be able to help you guys out no matter where you're looking to apply to now it is back on sale as of right now now the basic package comes with just the ebook as well as profiles from several of my friends who all attend different universities i talked to them about their stats about their extracurriculars why they think they got into their schools and just helps to give a broader understanding of what type of applicant is accepted into these schools the premium package which is an additional ten dollars is available and it includes all of my essays now this is from harvard supplementals princeton yale the common app ut the university of texas applications the university of california berkeley applications northwestern vanderbilt nyu and oklahoma universities now these essays are just from my personal experience but i'm deciding to share it with you guys so that you guys are able to hopefully get inspiration and be able to create your own essay from that so once again, I will have everything linked in the description down below. Make sure to check it out. I will also have the sample where you can check out a free preview of the book before you decide if you want to purchase it. And yeah, I'm really excited to bring this back. I know that I had tons of comments from you guys saying that it was super helpful if you bought it last year. And honestly, you don't even need to be an incoming senior to start purchasing it. Like go ahead if you're a freshman, sophomore, or junior so that you can get a head start on your applications and know what to expect when the time comes. And with all those announcements out of the way, let's just jump into this Q&A. All right, so I asked you guys on my Instagram which is at Nicholas Che. Go hit me up over there about some questions about Africa, going back to school, whatever. And so we have a ton and I'm going to try to get through as many as I can. All right, first up, advice for adjusting when moving far away from home for college. Now this is a little bit of a difficult one, especially for myself because I remember the first month or two, I was getting really homesick and wanting to come home because all my friends were at schools around my hometown. So it does get difficult, but I do recommend, you know, obviously FaceTiming your family and your friends. That's super important to just make sure that you keep in touch with them and as time goes on you will get better acclimated and adjusted to it so that's the best advice I could give what do you want to do after you finish Princeton that is the million dollar question even I don't know the answer to right now but something in media and entertainment hopefully with my degree in economics and certificate in entrepreneurship that's just a good combo for me to kind of tackle any type of endeavor or industry that I really want to and you know I still have two years so hopefully within that time I will be able to find something I'm passionate about what camera and editing software do you use on your YouTube videos now I get this question a ton and so I will just quickly go through it. The camera that I mainly shoot on is a Sony a7 III or the 
Sony a7R 3 as well as the 16 to 35 2.8 lens. I also have the Sony 28 millimeter f2 lens and my other Canon camera is the 6D Mark II and the lenses I have for that are the 24 to 70 2.8 and the Sigma 35 R 1.4 and then the 70 to 300 and the 50 mil 1.8. I usually use the Sony for videos, the Canon for photos. It's obviously not a good workflow but it has been working for me and until someone makes an all-in-one camera that is what I will be going for. The software that I use is Premiere Pro which I use in the Adobe Student Discount Plan, as well as After Effects for some of my intros and graphics and things like that. I highly recommend if you are looking to get into video editing, either checking out Premiere Pro or even Final Cut Pro because those are the two main softwares that editors use nowadays. Where are you going next? Next up, I will probably be going to Austin on the 17th of August to visit some friends and hang out there. It's always a good time in Austin. Best sneaker of 2019 so far. I have it in my room because this is the best sneaker of 2019 so far and I would say it is a Yeezy Boost 700 in the analog colorway specifically because I think that this off-white cream color is just a fire combination and it looks great with so many outfits whether it's summer or fall or even winter and this is definitely going to be on rotation heavy in the coming months. I don't even know if it was released in 2019 and I wasn't expecting to be a huge fan of it but now that I have it I'm super happy with these. What is one experience or lesson that you took away from being in Africa? I think the biggest one is just to really never take anything in life for granted again, realizing that I'm so fortunate and so grateful to have a lot of the opportunities that I do. It just makes me realize and appreciate more of the day-to-day -day things and to live in the moment and to not forget that because there are so many other people out there who are you know, constantly struggling and the little things in life really don't matter a lot if you think about it like there are minute problems that can be avoided day to day if you just have the right mentality about it and so you know that's a huge lesson that i learned and am going to try to apply to my life moving forward and i hope that it will be helpful for you guys as well how old are you i just turned 20 my birthday was on june 8th and it feels good to be on the second floor if it weren't for princeton what other college would you have attended i think about this question a lot even though there's no point in dwelling on things that can't be changed in the past but i mean i guess if i had the option or opportunity to get accepted then I always think Harvard would be kind of cool just to see what it's like see whether or not I would have enjoyed it as much as I do at Princeton Northwestern is also a good option I do sometimes wish I went to the University of Texas at Austin just because a lot of my friends are there it would have been a ton of fun and Austin is an awesome city NYU is a close second place and then USC is probably my third option what are your goals for the 1920 academic year that's a really great question and you know I've been reflecting on that a lot as well because I'm realizing that I'm going into my junior year this is obviously the most important time and pivotal time of not only my life but my future career going forward so you know just taking a lot more emphasis on the classes that I'm taking and being more cognizant and aware and trying to get the most out of my education while the time I have left. I am hoping to go abroad in the spring of 2020 so fingers crossed that that works out. If anyone has suggestions of places I should go make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Where do you want to travel next? I have now done a fair amount of traveling. I've been to five out of the seven continents only Antarctica and Australia are left so Australia would definitely be on the top of that list right now. I also would have been wanting to check out Bali. I want to go to Egypt, I want to go to Morocco, Iceland. So there's a lot that I want to do. Hopefully I can plan out some trips in the upcoming months and as well as do meetups out there because I'd love to hang out with you guys. Tips for first day of college. Now that is a great video idea. So maybe I'll hold on to that for a video. <laughs> Did you pay for the trip in Africa? So I got a lot of questions about this and the way that it worked is that it was a Princeton Global Seminar meeting. I got credit for it. However, since I'm on financial aid at the school, they gave me financial aid to pay for this class. So there wasn't too much paid for out of pocket. I just had to help cover the flights and all that, but it was honestly such a great experience. What was your favorite part about Africa? Obviously there were a ton. I was, you know, going on drives every single day, seeing these amazing animals up close and personal. And you know, that is a, literally a once in a lifetime experience that I will never forget. And I have so much footage and photos from it. You know, hanging out with the kids from the community was always just a surreal experience and learning more about the Kenyan culture and conservation efforts out there was just very inspiring and motivating and hopefully you guys learned something along the way as well great question being Asian American did you ever feel pressured to be a doctor lawyer etc I think I'm kind of an anomaly in the fact that my parents were very supportive in any endeavor that I was pursuing throughout high school whether it was in the artistic or music field I never really got pressured to be an engineer be a doctor be a lawyer my mom would always just joke about oh you should be a lawyer your brother should be a doctor but you know growing up I realized that that's not really the field that I would be the most happy and most passionate about of course there are tons of people out there who uh, have that passion and 
drive and it's just not for me i don't think i could go through that many years of schooling to do something that i don't love what are some clothing brands that are affordable and stylish great question first off thrift stores if you find the right place you can honestly find some really great pickups if you just are smart about it secondly i always recommend zara uniqlo or h&m now these are fast fashion types of stores but you're able to find some really good basics in there whether it's chinos like outerwear jeans like that stuff will last you a good two to three years if you take care of it and especially if you're in high school or college these are definitely affordable options favorite song at the moment it has to be gold roses drake featuring rick ross that song is just a banger drake's verse got me feeling some type of way she got a thing for chanel vintage a drop before she could speak english yeah how did you become self-confident you know, I grew up always being kind of like not the normal kid. I would always dress differently. I would always, you know, do my own thing. And whether that came from me being just arrogant or confident, I don't really know. But, you know, developing tough skin over the years just helps you, you know, be more true to yourself. I've always hated the fact when people will, you know, act a different way around a certain type of people or do this to fit in with that group. And you know, that's just not my vibe. And if you've been watching the channel for a while now, I'm sure you can tell that from me. But, you know, I'm self-aware, I'm self-confident. So and you know, I'm just proud of the things that I do and ain't nothing wrong with that, baby. What is your height? I'm five, eight and a half with shoes on. Can you speak Korean? Yes, I can. Someone asked me to introduce myself in Korean. 안녕하세요, 제 이름은 최지수입니다. 우리 오늘 Q&A 하고 before getting big on YouTube, did you ever picture yourself where you are now? You know, I've always had big dreams for myself, big aspirations. Never did I think that I would be in a place where I have, you know, 75,000 subscribers. That's just a huge number already. And every single day, I'm just grateful. And I need to be more cognizant of the fact that now I have a real platform where I can share my message with others and have an impact on people's lives. And that's the coolest part about this whole thing is knowing that I'm able to relate with you guys as an audience and you guys with me as a creator and as a student or whatever you enjoy watching me as. It's humbling and it just makes me want to work harder and just become better. How did you get to your level of drip? Patience, young grasshopper. Drip does not come overnight. Drip is acquired. It's a taste. You know, all jokes aside, drip, and which I'm assuming you're meaning by style or swagger, it comes with finding your own identity, to be honest. And it, it doesn't happen overnight once again. It happens over years of progression as you find out more about who you are, the types of things that you value, whether you care about other people's opinions. And through all that, you'll find your own sense of style and fashion. And, you know, it's always great to have inspiration. So, you know, I always look up to the artists or rappers that I enjoy and you know the way that they dress will have some influence on me you know but at the end of the day don't think that you need to spend hundreds of dollars to buy a completely new wardrobe like just invest in some pieces here and there and the drip will eventually come while in Africa how is disconnecting from your normal way of life this is a great question because every day you know we were in class we were out on drives and we wouldn't have access to the internet and to be honest it was a breath of fresh air it was exactly what I needed to just get away from all the bullshit because you know social media as great as it is to help connect one another it's very toxic and you know you hear so many people talk about it but you don't realize it until you actually just take a detox it does feel good to be back to internet and civilization but you know that was definitely eye-opening as well are you working on any new projects I'm always cooking up projects now that I'm back home and I have a month to just crank stuff out you know once again quad C crash course college coaching is a project that I've invested a lot of time in so I'm trying to revive that bring that back this year I'm also planning on on doing a video series similar to crash course college coaching but in video formats you know if you think that idea would be better please leave me a comment in the description you guys know i read every single one of them so any feedback is very valuable to me i'll also have a link to a google form where my manager and i are looking at all your responses and taking that into account into all the projects that we're going to be building moving forward i am also launching merch i know i've said this so many freaking times but this month that is coming out keep me to it if i don't have something dropped by the end of the month i will have disappointed myself and you guys as well i just need to find the fire design which i have been working with some designers so once again if you are a graphic designer you know feel free to shoot me an email business at with your portfolio and i would be happy to work with some of you guys if you have any designs you've already made and want to send them over for don't stress for nest or let's build then you know i'd be happy to check that out but i'm just looking for some kind of inspiration to hit right now can you and your brother do a dallas meetup Finally, if anyone is interested in doing a Dallas or even Austin or New York City meetup, leave that in the description below and I will decide whether or not to do one before the end of the month and before we go back to school. I think that would be just a really great way to meet a lot of you guys in person. And I've been wanting to do a Dallas one for a while now, so hopefully this summer is the time to do it. Guys, I know that this Q&A has been going on for forever. I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. As always, leave a comment down below. If you enjoy these questions, let me know any other types of videos you guys want to see because once again, I'm going to be cranking that out in the up upcoming weeks. 
and let's build.